All right, guys, here we are back on NR2003. We're continuing our 2012 Arca season mode here today. Before we get into the next race, let's take a look at an updated standings after the race at Iowa. As you can see, we gained a couple spots due to the uh, disastrous circumstances under which the race ended. But Chris Buescher is running away with it. He's almost 300 points out on us now, so we really need him to have a bad race or two, and we need to deliver some good results. So let's go ahead and take a look at the next race here. It's going to be at the Chicagoland Speedway. These are the settings we're going to roll with. 41 laps, 3 times pit stops, 97 AI difficulty. Let's go ahead and get straight out there. Quite like this uh, Chicagoland here, so I wanted to give a shout out to Smith's Den. I don't know if they're even still making tracks in 2019, but I really enjoy this version of Chicagoland, so I wanted to put that out there. So let's go ahead and get straight out here on the track. Quite like the setup we have. It's just fast, it feels hooked up, and uh, it only really takes a little bit of a lift in the corner to get the car to turn. So it's all about how brave you can be. We're gonna try and get a good starting spot today. We really need to deliver. Can't really afford any bad results if we wanna catch Chris Busher. He's been so consistent all season. Right to the bottom there for turn one. A little bit wide through the middle and off the corner, that's okay. Turn in well there to turn three and four. It's gonna be a nice lap. It's 29.5. See if we can do any faster this time. Look at that. Frank Kimmel, Chris Buescher, Brennan Poole, Bowman, Hackenbrack, top five, the usual suspects. See if we can't dethrone them. So we get a pretty good lap that time. We're going to cut it to the apron. Come on, baby. We don't even go any faster, so it's going to be 12th place. It's a good starting spot, and we need to uh, work our way up to the front if we want any chance to catch the top hitters in the points. See you guys in the race. Drivers, start your engines! All right, guys, it is race time here at Chicagoland. 41 laps here today in the Ansel Active Armor 150. Starting from 12th place, so it's a good starting spot, but if you take a look at the top five here, Frank Kimmel, Chris Buescher, Alex Bowman, Brennan Poole. Oh man, we really need to uh, get up there with those guys because if we want any chance to catch Buescher, we need to finish ahead of him. Get ready now. Going green. In terms of pit strategy, it should be a straight one stop today, so no funny business there. And I'm excited for this one. I hope you guys are too. If you're new, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Green, green, green. And we get the green flag at Chicagoland. Looks like we got a nice start there, but nowhere to go with it, so we just have to lift. Looks like they're going to go three wide off in the T1 there. Get a nice run here on the outside. Come to the back bumper, Passer. tightened up really bad on the exit and I kind of lost focus for a second. That is a bad mistake. Damage is going to cost us here. Go down a couple spots because of it. That's not what we need in this juncture late in the season. Can't afford mistakes. Monster run off a of four. We're gonna take it to the inside of Basham. If we clear him, no problem, and we do. Looks like we sit in 12th now. So no progress made one way or another. And oh my god, they're wrecking. Are they gonna hold it? 
my god, no, how did nobody crash there? I think it was Ryan Reed and Hackenbrack that got together. They were going three, almost four wide off into T3. Oof. Oh my gosh, Kimmel! He's out! Nobody hit me! Oh my gosh, a huge pile up. Kimmel is out again. We got a big mess. We're still racing it back to the line. Looks like we're going to lose out to Will Kimmel here. Dude. But there's a lot of cars out of this race. We're going to take a look and see what happened there and take a deep breath as we just survived that chaos. So let's take a look at this. Frank Kimmel and Brennan Poole get hooked together. Brennan Poole does not lift. He hooks Frank Kimmel completely into the wall. And this goes bad really quickly. As people just continue piling in. It's got to be 20, 25 cars, maybe even 30. Oh my goodness, people are flipping. That's Ryan Reed up and over. That is a lot of cars out of this race. Let's go ahead and take a look at it from my perspective here. I'm still breathing deep because I am lucky to have survived that. So we were three wide off into T1 here. You can see Kimmel just gets hooked in front of us. We just go low and avoid it all. Absolute chaos erupts behind us. But we get through it. Alright guys, we're going green next time by. It's going to be 33 laps to go. If we look at the carnage report here, only 20 runners left in this race. We have 13 retirements from that incident. That is easily the biggest wreck of the season. And absolutely destroyed the field. But unfortunately, Chris Buescher was ahead of it. So he's at the lead of the pack. We've got to uh, try and get up there and fend with him. Um, but that really shook up this race as, uh, well, the worst we can finish now is 20th, so let's keep that in mind with what we do. No pit stops for us here on that caution break, so I'm just going to get back to it as we were. It's going to be about 17 laps until we need to come down, 16 when now. we get the flag. Just really need to, uh, focus on this restart. Tires are going to be cold. Let's get to it. Green, green, green. You have a caution. What is going on back there? Okay, it looks like chaos behind me try and cross Williams back over as I was just kind of distracted there by whatever was going on. Oh man, this car. Okay, so we're going to lose a spot there. I don't know if that was a debris caution or something weird happened. Looks like somebody actually wrecked, so take a look at that real quickly and we'll get back to the green flag. So it looks like just a case of cautions breeding cautions here is Leilani Munter gets absolutely run over. Look at the carnage on these cars in the back of the pack. The 10 is turned and the pace car didn't even get a chance to stop as we are under a second caution. All right, so we're getting ready to go back to green here once again. Not much changes, 28 laps to go this time. Uh, hopefully the AI sorted themselves out back there. A couple people came to the pits, hoping that we just don't get caution after caution. I wanna do some racing. Tires looking okay, but they've really had a chance to cool down under two caution periods, so we need to be very careful in the early laps of this run. And, uh, yeah, we're going to be looking to pit maybe 12, 13 laps time. We'll go to the end from there. <laughs> Looks like Leilani Munter has given up back there, so we had another one out. Only 19 cars left in this race. It's going to be a race of attrition at this point. Ah, 
Wow, that was a late, late restart. I jumped it again. Thankfully, I was able to recover. No harm, no foul. We are flying towards T1. I chickened out big time. I was scared. Don't even know how many cars are without damage at this point. Probably not many. Especially behind us. And I really want to hang on to this top group though. Oh, we just got very tight there. That is not good. Do everything we can here to try and keep up. Chris Busher's already two seconds out on us. You never know what'll happen with pit stops. Could be more chaos, so I'm not gonna give up anytime soon. Just not quite able to uh, get back in the throttle as early as I'd want off the corner. It's really hurting me at this point. It's just a little tight through the middle. It's costing me big time. Cars behind us must have damage. They have dropped off the face of the earth. Honestly, it could mean that uh, apt cars play a factor by the end of this. So with damage, they're going to be ultra slow, and Chris Busher is very fast. I'm losing more time to the sleep pack. I gotta try something. I'm gonna go outside this time. Can't hold it out here. Carry some speed off the corner. Doesn't look like that helped much, maybe a little. Well, we are in our own little bubble here in seventh. Try and run the quickest race possible. You never know what can happen with pit stops. Also, uh, neglected to practice getting on this pit road, so... shall see how that turns out. I don't know the limit. I assume 45. I need to make some adjustments here at the stop. No repairs. Thank you. Yeah, I don't know how to change that space. There we go. No need to fix it. Jack that up a little bit. Take a little wedge out. Fill her up. This is the one benefit of uh, having pit stops in your race. You can make these adjustments. We're going to really need them to pan out. I'm thinking maybe I'll go one more. Try and get any type of undercut. We are at the halfway point. Could be close on gas. Alright, maybe one more past this. I really don't want to be running out of fuel. Coming up on coffee here. It's gonna be a bit awkward, perhaps. Chris Busher's pitting. I'm coming. The leader's pitting now. It's the limit. All right, so. Watch that speed now. Keep it on 3500. See how it turns out here with Busher. He had about three and a half seconds on us when we came in. Hopefully these adjustments pay off for me. 
We'll give you one and a half cans of fuel. I didn't need all that. I needed two. Great. The leader's well. pitting now. It's locked in at this point. Wait, something's wrong. Come on, you guys. One of the air wrenches jammed. Go, go, oh, go. Oh man, that's not what we needed. Okay, Was it you're too... clear pit lane. Sorry, buddy. I know you can make it up on the track. Oh man, they're showing us a black flag. Looks like they call it speeding. Speeding hit. where? Oh my God. How? Great. Well, the race is really over at this point. The drive through, we'll just serve it straight away. Be lucky if we finish above 20th. Keep it under 3,500 in second. That's a first for this season, and that's a devastating mistake at a race where we had a chance to gain a lot of points. So we're gonna be lucky to finish ahead of any of the runners now. Watch that speed now. Keep it on 3500 in second. Okay, you're clear of pit lane. So jam the jam the air wrench and uh, speed on pit road. I was maybe by one or two miles an hour. That's pretty rough. Should we stay out of these guys' way? Looks like we're a lap behind the guy in 17th, so I think 18th is going to be where we finish it out. Terrible, terrible mistake. Stay low. Stay low. Stay low. Clear. Sure. 17th is 14 seconds up the road and closing and to gain about a second a lap I'm gonna go for it every spot matters drive hard and try and keep up with these guys it's kind of upsetting to me how much we're hanging with them this car feels pretty good after the adjustments we made Outside line really blows around here. I think that might be one of the first black flags we've gotten. Well, there's a big log jam up here with these lap guys. We're all of a sudden only five seconds behind 17th and 11 behind 16th, so we've got some racing yet to do. And I don't want to talk about what happened back there. <sighs> so we've got a chance to gain one spot, it would appear. And uh, somehow, with the timing of that caution, Sean Core is in the lead of this race, and he's two cars back. The leaders must have lapped the... Uh, how'd this work out? The guys that pit under the one of those first two caution periods must have been able to stay out longer 
and thus they were able to stay out and lap Brennan Poole and Chris Buescher when they had to come into pit. So they're going to be cheated out of the win of this race. And it's up for grabs here between Cormac Reynolds, Kid Peterson, and Blankenship. I'm pretty sure all those guys were involved in the caution earlier in the race. So this is going to be very interesting. And I am just embarrassed at my driving. I don't want to talk about this one. I'd be happy to leave Chicagoland in the past. But we come down here. Still some work to be done. Levine leads the field down in 16th place with these janky restart rules. We get the green flag. And Levine looks very slow, so I'm going to just try and avoid trouble. Just get around him. Everybody go around me. I've got damage myself. This is chaos. Gonna be able to pass our way into 16th here. This car is just really messed up at this point. So we're gonna have six to go with the line. Here comes the leader. There's two cars back. We are tight. Actually losing ground to Levine. Just want to stay out of these guys' way as much as I can. We're three wide with the leaders. Try and give them room, but I gotta race myself. Five laps past that Richard Petty car up there. Want to focus on that. I know the leaders are racing behind me. Sean Core takes the lead. We'll try and give him the inside here as we pull straight up behind Levine. There's some excitement left in this race after all. Smack the wall right next to the leader. That's how you make friends. Nowhere to go with the leader on the inside. We're going to let him send him off in there. Along with McReynolds right after him. Come around to three to go now. Really need to get to Levine's inside. Looks like he's better through the corners, but he is lacking drastically in straightaway speed. We about run it into McReynolds there. So we're, we're all racing for something. Come on. Have to be able to catch this crippled car. We're not going to get there. Not with all these cars around us. We can't get to the bottom. Two laps left. Leader passed us. We get one less lap to try and get the job done. There's just nowhere for us to go. Finally get ourselves clear on the inside. And for some reason, they just stop off the corner. Position disappearing off into the distance. Pretty much need core just to run into Levine at this point. Oh my god, what a disaster. We're not even going to catch Levine. Sean Core is going to win this race at Chicagoland and shock the world. And we're going to lip home in 17th. For a wild, wild race. I'm ready to get it's out of right. here. It's over. Indeed. Had a nice drift off. Let's go ahead and take a look at the race results. So let's go ahead and take a look at the race results here. Sean Core gets the win, followed by McReynolds, Blankenship, Peterson, and Brandon Kidd. 
So you can see we come home in 17th and look at this list of eliminated drivers. An absolute slugfest at Chicagoland. And that's really going to shake up the standings as a lot of top guys went out early in the race. Fortunately, we couldn't capitalize on that very well. Um, we didn't lose as much to Busher as we probably could have, so thankfully he got pinned a lap down. We'll have to see next race how the standings update and what we can do. Pretty sure it's at IRP, so I'm looking forward to that one. And um, if you guys are too, subscribe to the channel, like and comment on this video, and we'll see you guys in the next race.